If music be the food of love, play on. We find that incomplete sentence in William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. It highlights the harmony between life, love and melody. And today, we're going to find out if a certain reverend can capture that same synergy. Reverend Kenneth Rasilabe Joseph Meshwe, the politician, pastor and marriage counsellor, was born in Pretoria on the 18th of January 1954. The fourth of seven children, he graduated from the University of the North with a teacher's diploma in 1975, married his wife Lydia the year after and went on to have two daughters and a son. Sounds like music to your ears? Well, today we find out just how musical he really is as he shares his love for the accordion with us. And I must say, I was quite impressed. For someone who claims to have had little practice of late, he managed to hit all the right notes. Well, I've been playing for about 20 years. And interestingly, I saw somebody play it and I asked that person to teach me and he said, I can't teach anybody. I am self-taught myself so I can lend you my accordion and see what you can do about it. Uh -huh. So I took it and I played around with the chords until I got it right. Music is in me. Even though I may be given 10 minutes to get ready, after years of not touching that instrument, within 10 minutes I can do something because music is in me. And his favorite tunes to play? Miram I got to this, the one I was playing, and uh, what a friend we have in Jesus because as human beings we need to have a friend who is more stronger than we are and so what a friend we have in Jesus is one of my favorite songs. But the question is, do his wife and kids put on earplugs when he plays or do they join him? Fortunately my family is musical. The whole family is musical so we love music. Even though they might be wanting to rest if I play something then they hum on their beds and all that stuff you know so the family enjoys music. What lessons has he learned from the determination and tenacity needed to learn an instrument? If you make up your mind that you want to do something, I one believes that nothing would be impossible. When I was given an instrument to learn to play, I was alone, I locked myself in the room. And that time, with my left finger in particular, and my right, I was just using one finger, like a person who learns to, to use a keyboard of a computer or laptop. <laughs> Just one finger, one finger. But I said to myself, I would not leave this room until I make a sound that everybody can sing to. And within two hours, with the one finger trying this one and not working trying this one, I finally, within two hours, could play the same song that is my favorite, Nera My God Today. I learned that song more than 20 years ago. You know, a number of people fail in love, life because of lack of persistence. I was so challenged when I heard about um, the man who today has given us a light bulb. How many times he failed? Actually, it says he failed about 10,000 times. And when friends said to him, it does not work, give up, you have failed. He said, no, 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 no. I've learned 10,000 10, ways of not to do what I want to do. So he went back to it until he got it. And you look at Abraham Lincoln, who is one of the best presidents that America had. That man failed more than six times, running for office, failing, failing. His friends said to him, forget it, it's not your line. And he said, I will not give up until he became the president. So I've also decided whatever I want to do, I'll follow my passion, I will follow my heart, and I will get at this thing, I will persist, persist, until I get red. With soccer and table tennis being some of his other pastimes, I accepted the challenge of guys versus girls, he and his son Joshua against his daughter-in-law Lebo and I. Of course, Mama Lydia Meshwe had to be the umpire. And in case you're wondering, let's just say it ended in a draw. Ayanda Ali Payne, Boxburg.